Last night I got an email from Bentley's grandma and grandpa who mentioned that Bentley passed away. For those of you who don't know, Bentley was my old roommate's dog who was a big part of the vlogs. Bentley's grandparents titled the email like our dog Bentley passed away and wanted to include me in the email because I was one of the few, because I was one of the lucky people who got to spend so much time with Bentley. He died quickly from an internal bleeding, according to the vet. He went very quickly, and his death was as if he just went to sleep in his bed in the front step. And he honestly really did teach me how to train Gatsby and how to love Gatsby and how to raise a dog. I wasn't going to share with you guys, but I knew a lot of you guys really were touched by Bentley too. So I thought I would mention it. I'm so glad Gatsby was able to meet Bentley and I'm, I'm just so sad that I'm not going to see him anymore. <laughs> I am so happy right now. So happy. Oh my gosh, I got to see Bentley. <laughs> I'm so happy. I am so happy, you guys. I'm happy. I don't know, today I think I'm just gonna take it a little bit easy. Just want to not be so sad. We'll try to salvage the day by doing things that will make me feel a little bit better. Starting off the day by heading off to the gym. That always tends to make me feel a lot better. And I'm gonna hit some back. I'll see you guys at the gym. Feel a little bit better now. Let's continue on with the day. Right now I am here at the supermarket. Let's go and get some food. I guess it's Christmas already. Aroma tomato, kale, garlic, cilantro, red onion, grab a jalapeno, grab some fish for dinner. No. There's a spoon inside. That looks really scary. Mario Grape Nuts. I still have to play the game. Wonder Woman doesn't wear glasses. Hmm. Okay, just decided to grab some food for dinner as well so we don't have to go back to the supermarket. Hey Gatsby. lunch today, I thought we would do a simple avocado toast with a poached egg and smoked salmon. Ooh, that sounds so good. And here's a few tips that you need to remember when you're poaching an egg. You want to use the freshest eggs you can find. Crack the eggs into a tiny dish to keep the egg yolk and the whites together. And you want to add salt and vinegar to the water in order to make sure that the egg white and the yolk stay together. We remove it from the heat, cover it, and wait four minutes. 
Once the toast is done, we toasted it again. Now let's take our avocado and cut it. By the way, in the last vlog, a lot of you guys were saying that dogs can't eat avocado, and that's somewhat true. The part that dogs can't eat is the seed, the leaves, and like the skin. The meat of the avocado is totally edible for dogs. There we go. Woo! The combination is so good. The poached egg is like so nice. And it adds a lot of richness along with the avocado. And then we have the salty smoked salmon, which really, really complements everything. Cilantro so tastes super good too. Who's that? It's Gatsby. I've been spending every single day working on shipping out all the calendars and stuff to you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. So Ali from Arizona ordered a signed Corgi on Fleet calendar. He gets thank you note and a free picture. He also ordered a dad hat and a Corgi card shirt. Good job. And that's how we do it. I want to thank you guys for showing so much support to me and Gatsby. Check out all these fans who are posting their pictures with their favorite image from the calendar. If you get a calendar and or a t-shirt, make sure to tag me with your favorite photo. This is like a lot of my friends' favorite photo from the calendar. Check it out. Gatsby apartment shot. This is for March. Gatsby's checking out the March photo from last year in the calendar. Mid catching the eye fetch ball, splooting. And this one, look at those legs. It's an awesome picture and I'm really proud of it. And so remember, if you want the calendar, t-shirts, anything else, go to corgionfleet.com. Let's continue on with the vlog. Check out the starfish climbing up the back wall, cleaning it. It kind of looks like an alien. And by the way, look what I got. The iPhone 10. This is my reward to myself for working so hard on the calendars and the t-shirts. So you just tap it to wake and then it looks at my face, unlocks it and you have to swipe up. There we go. And as you can see, it has face tracking so you can use stuff like the emojis. Whoa! <laughs> But more importantly, the phone has a way better camera, so I'd like to test it out today. You wanna go to the park really fast? And maybe get some happy lemon too? You ready? And that was slow-mo on the iPhone 10. What's it like to be in slow-mo, Gatsby? Mm. Green tea with salted cheese. So good. Definitely makes me happy. See you guys back home. Right now I thought I would open up three pieces of mail really fast. This is from Kyle from New York. Check it out. This is from Joyce from Canada. Last year, I introduced your vlogs to my mom, Rita, and ever since then, she's been watching every vlog you've posted. Gatsby, you got your own Woodstock from Charlie Brown. That'll match this one. <laughs> Halloween Snoopy and Woodstock. You have the collection. This is from Keita from Kanagawa, Japan. Anzu, Keita, and Asaki. Dog cookies. These look like they're for humans. It looks like something that you use for breading. Yawara kakusuru means like to make it softer. All these different chocolates for Sean. I got Pokemon Furikake, which is like rice seasoning. Thank you so much you guys for sending us stuff. Okay, it's finally time for dinner. Today we are gonna be making a recipe from Gimme Some Oven. 20 minute pan seared fish with pomegranate salsa. Let's get started. <laughs>
Mmm, the white fish is cod. Pomegranate salsa is a little bit spicy, but it has like a nice lime flavor. And fruity, sweet, and crunchy because of the pomegranate seeds. That's the way I like it. You can taste all the natural flavors of everything. It's not like covered in all the sauce. And smile. That dinner was super good, but guess who's here? We're gonna play some more Overcooked on the Nintendo Switch just because I didn't get enough cooking, I guess. Hopefully we'll we do better. We're gonna do so well now, you'll see. Right, Gatsby? All right, here it goes. Okay, onions. Just leave it there, okay, I'll do it. Okay. Grab the onions, put it in the pot. What's the next one? Mushrooms. Uh Get ready. Onion soup is ready. Awesome. Okay, mushrooms next. Okay, what's next? Onions. Uh. No, go away. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, I got it. Setting it aside. <laughs> oh well, sorry. Okay. What's next? Come on, get in the... <laughs> Deliver it, deliver it, deliver it. No, I was so focused. 188. Ah. Well, and I think we didn't do too well because we failed that one order. But other than that, that was pretty good. I think I we did really well. well. I tried to stay in focus. Oh, well, thanks to Sean for coming over to play. Yeah, yeah. thanks for the calendar. <laughs> Sean, what's your favorite picture from the calendar? I think August is one of my favorites too. Yeah. So March, May, and August, those are ah. my favorites. Gatsby's just watching us. So I think I was able to have a pretty good day despite the bad news. It's always sad to lose a doggy. I want to thank you once again for showing so much support. Uh, you guys are the best. See you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Today, Gatsby will be trying some more dog-friendly fruits and vegetables for the first time. Are you ready for round three? Instead of giving Gatsby the raw ones, I made some steamed ones. He's deliciously eating it. <laughs>